Hi everyone, it's Leslie here from Elegant Edges and today in June I've come to you on a big stash busting kit kick. Um, Stamping Up are having um, a really wonderful sale of their DSP. Let me just see. It's a great big list and they aren't the sort of rubbish ones that nobody wants. These are fantastic ones. These are all new in the um, current annual catalogue. Um, many of these I've already got and some I'm going to be ordering again because I like them so much. So this is absolutely fantastic. They're offering 15% discount but only during June. So to make way for some extra papers I thought I would get rid of some of my old ones, some of the retired ones, some odd bits I've got kicking around, and some I bought before I found um, Stamping Up that really, you know, I've had so long I need to get rid of them. So what I did was I had a good look through my stash and I found some really ancient bits. I found some projects that I'd made years ago when I used to run um, a craft fair. This was one of them. Nice little project, shopping list. But um, I thought I'd case my own thing. So I did it with some of the Cheerful Daisy papers. So if you like, I made it even better. I covered not only the front, but the back. I put a pocket here in case there's anything you want to add in and um, I put a little top on the papers slightly different papers they've got lines on but really useful and I think that looks nice so that was one I found a six pads so these were the uh, chunky jotters that I found the uh, shopping list pads and um, I had a look they are available now on Amazon I'm sure I didn't get them on Amazon but they are on Amazon if you want them. A6 jotter pads. I couldn't find these exact ones available at the moment, but A6 pads are available really everywhere. And I found, let me get rid of that, we don't need that. This rather cute one, Handy Jotter. I remember these as children and I thought, oh, do you know, my grandchildren would like these. They'd be great. Or the, any of these little pads, little thank yous for neighbours. We've got the time of year coming up where people want to send in little something to primary school teachers just to say thank you. Any random acts of kindness, happy mail. They're so inexpensive. You can afford to do that. And let's use up our stash. And the way I'm going to do it works for any size. Okay, any size pad that you might have. So let's start with this little one as it's on the top. So to work out how to do it, I literally just got my ruler, measured the front. This is three and a quarter. Add on a quarter of an inch. Let me get rid of that for a second. Add on a quarter and you get three and a half. So that's for the front of my pad, but I made it longer. I made it longer because I want that little pocket inside. So I made it five and three quarters, and then you can get two out of an A4 sheet. So I might be getting rid of DSP, but not cardstock. You can see this one came from Wilco, and it's quite a, a skinny pad. So mine is about a quarter of an inch thick. I noticed the ones they've got at the moment are half an inch. So if you obviously go out and buy any, you'll need to add half an inch there. And then another three and a half inches for the back of the pad. And then trim off the remainder. We don't need that. So the four, five and three quarters. And then measure the depth. Three and seven eighths. Add on a quarter and you get four and one eighth. And that's where you're going to score. Okay, so I've done the boring bit and that's here. I've also added a bit of paper. So here we are. So this is the side where the pad is going to go. This is the front. 
So let's do the front first of all. You can see I've done some preparation because I know when I watch YouTubes, I get a bit bored sometimes and I fast forward through things. So I've chosen, tuck that up out of the way, I've chosen the lovely Zoo Crew, Zany Zoo, because I just love the characters. So these are papers from there, so I'm going to stick that onto the front. I'm using wet glue, you can use anything you like, seal, glue runner, tape, whatever you like. So that's onto the front. Oh, 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 <gasps> almost, almost forgot something. Okay, I want to add some ribbon. Goodness me, that would have, that would have been, that was a bit close, wasn't it? We'll just pop a bit more glue on the back. Hope you can see this, I hope I'm in shot. Little bit of, mm, roughly straight. It'll probably do. Right, pop a bit more glue on because it's so warm here. I think it's dried. And to tuck that under. Not pull it too tight because it's paper, not cardstock. So let's have a second go. Sticking that down, right? That's better. Okay, and then I stamped a nice little saying, just a note that came from. Oh, it's my greeting set that I use all the time. I've got the most awful mess here. You can see I've had everything out. Go-to greetings, and they really are my go-to greetings. I just, you know, use them. And then I cut, I cut it out with stylish shapes, and that's another one of my go-to things. This stylish shape set of dies, literally on hand on my desk the whole time. So I'm going to think where I'm going to pop that, and this. This sweet little lamb I cut out from the DSP. So I'm going to pop her on. I'm not going to pick her, put her up, uh, lift her on dimensionals because I know with little uh, little things, if I put them in my handbag, they catch. And then I think I'm going to knock it off. So I'm going to stick her flat. So we'll just, you can see here. And you can see where I've added a little bit of colour. Mm, do I need a bow? No, I don't think I do. Pop her in the middle. And this ribbon is quite sweet. Comes in a duo ribbon combo pack. Really like it with that lovely bright green. So I'm going to put that there, press it down, and that will help to keep the ribbon down as well. Okay. Now I purposely, you can see I did it wrong on the back. I got a bit of ink on it. And as we say, that's why there's two sides to cardstock. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put that there to the edge of the card. Okay, so that's my front. This is other other design from that same Zany Zoo papers. Now, this bit at the bottom, I'm going to glue up to make a pocket. Pocket. I could have cut that short, but I didn't. So I'm going to just going to very gently glue this section in the middle. Yours will be half an inch, mine's only a quarter, so mine's tiny, and I'm only going to put a very thin layer of glue along the edges, both sides. Didn't put any DSP there because that's going to be hidden. 
put that down. Let's get my bone folder. Can't work without a bone folder, can we? Just going to let that dry for a second. Hold it for a moment. I'm just going to stick a punch on there while it's drying. And I've got a little piece of one of the other DSPs that I'm going to stick on the front of the pocket. So while everything else is just grabbing, I'll glue that on. Try and line it up and keep it nice and neat. So now we have a little pocket that side. Okay, we've got a little pocket here that doesn't show. And that one is for the backing of here. Now it's very narrow and because the glue isn't really very firm yet, what I'm going to do is actually just trim a little bit at a slight angle. I'm going to leave it in full at the top. And just take off a little bit at the bottom. And that just eases the pressure. There we go. It slips in quite nicely now. On this top bit, what I often do, not with a post-it note, is stick some DSP on here and then wrap it round the back. Which I could do, but as it's black and it goes in so well, all I'm going to do, I mean, I could put cover the whole thing. And as we're trying to get rid of DSP, that might have been a nice option. I just find it easier to have somewhere to write straight away. So there we are. Pad in there. Shuffle it. Just get it nice and straight. Black and white on the front. Have to remember when you're measuring for this bit, I said a half inch. If your pad is a different thickness, be a bit generous with your size because you've got a pocket here and underneath. So you need to allow that little bit of cardstock. I decided against having a wraparound with a magnet. I think it's unnecessary expense. By doing it this way with the pocket instead of my original card, this one I had to stick down. I stuck it onto the base. Very, very simple. My card making has progressed since then. But I like that one. I'm going to stick that one down. This was my copy paper template. And how I've explained it is exactly how you're going to make any particular size. So I'm going to put those on my blog. Elegantedges.co.uk. I'll pop the sizes on there. So that was that size. That was the Jotter size. I've got another one. This is the A6. I'm going to do one more because they're so quick to make. It's easy. Again, I measured the pad in exactly the same way, added a quarter of an inch both directions. Here we are. Is it up the right way? <laughs> so, A6 Jotter. With this one, this is A4, or if you're in the US letter size card, and it takes nine inches long and a total of six of an eighth. So I've scored it ready. And here, all these bits of DSP come from Fancy Flora, which is another one. Obviously, I like it because I bought it. So you can see I've already scored this. Let me fold it and burnish it so the folds show up a little bit better. Now, this is a particularly skinny pad. Yours might be thicker, so you need to consider whether... You need to add in a bit more for the spine. And this time, because 
the papers the fancy flora papers are six inch six by six i decided i couldn't be bothered to cut off an eighth of an inch so i made the papers instead of having a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch on all sides i've only got a very tiny little border but i can go with that i like that so oh this is some multi-purpose glue and i put it into a very fine tipped plastic bottle just so i can not use too much because i've got a tendency to be a little bit heavy-handed with it so that's our front i could have put ribbon but you know i think i'll have a plain one this time or i could always put a glue piece of glue so i've got the front inside now which ones did i choose can't remember which ones i chose Hmm, I don't think it was that side. It must have been this side. I have that bit there. And of course, this is where you can use those scraps, those ones we all hoard. We say we're not going to use them, or we're not going to throw them out. We will use them, and then of course we don't. It is possible that you could have a shorter piece in there. As long as the pocket covers it, that'll be fine. I think I just got a bit gung-ho. There we are. That's that side. I rather like that. Let's do the same thing here, very fine just on the spine and on the very right edge press down with a bone folder okay mm. well, i suppose that might go at least with these papers the You've got so many choices. I'm going to go with that one there. That keeps the same colours on those sides then. Okay. So we've got the front, we've got the inside. Put a piece on the back. Again, I could have that piece. Yep, I, I like that one. I want it that way around. I have the dark at the bottom. So easy, so quick. Okay. So there's our pad. And again, just to ease the pressure on that narrow pocket, I'm just going to take off a little bit. You see, it's not much. It just gives a lot more room at the bottom. Now this one hasn't got any black piece on the top. So I'm going to So I think I need about half an inch. So I'm going to get my paper trimmer. I'm just going to very gently score. Do a half? Maybe three quarters. Let's give it a little bit more. No, can't decide. Anyway, it really doesn't matter. It's personal choice. And this is about, well, it was a scrap I had. So that's why I chose this one. Now I've only made one score, so I'm just going to press that down, and that gives me 
a nice tight one for the front. So I'm not going to stick that down at the front. What I am going to do though is to stick the rest down. And this is going to go across the top and over the back. So I'm going to have a bit across the front with no glue. Press that right in. that gummed edge really tight make a nice sharp edge there that's it and as that dries inside the wallet that will press the front down and keep it down So that matches this nice little wallet and the front so that's number two number three was exactly the same way measured I did the same sort of dimensions on and I'll put all of them on my blog so I hope you try that hope you try de-stashing so you've got plenty of space in your craft room for some more DSP. Some you haven't tried yet from that lovely list. Now there's another fantastic offer on with Stamping Up. If you've got a long wish list and it's approaching anything like 99 pounds, don't use my host code um, because the offer that they've got on is instead of Uh, the normal offers for new Stamping Up demos, they are giving you an absolutely massive amount of free kit. I think it is, oh, didn't keep it, I'll put it on my blog, something like £154 for £99. So a big amount. You can go on to lesliekilby.stampingup.net. You can see the full um, amounts there join my team now you don't have to uh, be a kind of selling demo you don't have to do YouTubes you could be your own personal best customer if you want um, you can try it and if after the end of the three month period when they say are you going to place another order to stay active you say actually um, no I'll just come back and be one of Leslie's customers that's fine too no one is going to chase you and ask you for that huge discount back so think about it if you want 54 55 pounds of free goods plus you get the 15% off the DSP that's a fantastic offer take it okay so thanks for coming thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon so this is where you can buy anything from Stamping Up from, from me, elegantedges.co.uk. No, no, no. That's my blog. lesliekilby.stampingup.net. If you do place an order, pop in the host code and I'll send you a little freebie from me. Okay. And that applies to everyone with, the, with these offers to be a, a new demo. UK, Netherlands, Germany, Austria, France, Belgium, Ireland. So not just UK. Anyway, see you again soon. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. Bye.